In today's video, I'm gonna review this MI Boxer Universal Charger. I bought this because I needed something that can do a wider range of battery chemistries. This one can do nickel metal hydride, NICAD, lithium ion, and lithium iron phosphate. It can also do a variety of sizes. So we can do uh, double A's, triple A's, and it can do these larger lithium ions. It can do C's. I'm not sure if it can do D's. It probably can do D's, but I don't have any to test. But you don't need any adapters. These uh, slots slide up and down to fit any length of battery, and, and then they have multiple points here for the positive to go in, and you can do different sizes of batteries. So it contains four slots and you can fully adjust the charge current either in each individual slot or you can do all at the same time. And I think that's an important function. The charger comes with a standard 120 volt AC connection right here. But look here, we also have a 12 volt DC input. And this is a standard, uh, I believe it's 5.5 by 2.1, which is, you just find it everywhere. And so you can get a cigarette lighter that plugs in there, or if you already have an adapter that goes in there, it requires two amps. And so I think that's really handy that you could actually take this and do mobile charging. Now let's take a look at the display and what it shows. Here it's going to show you the active slot number and you can also see it up here. And when you press the slot key briefly, it'll cycle through to show you which battery you're looking at and it has four slots. So based on whichever slot you're looking at, you will see up here a flashing display. And this will show you three things. It will show you the battery's current voltage, the charge current, and its internal resistance in milliohms. And this battery has very high internal resistance. It's an older battery and it's just on its way downhill. If we go back to this Eneloop, it only has 57 milliohms. And Eneloop is just a better brand. It has a higher quality battery, it lasts longer and whatnot. Now down in the lower left, it'll show you the battery capacity. And it will show you here the charge time. And this was six minutes because uh, during the filming of this video, I had already had this charged. It was 1.34 when I popped it in, and it showed 62%, which is a bit misleading because that was resting voltage, and it only took six minutes to bring it up to full. So 1.34 for a nickel metal hydride is full. Don't, don't worry about it. And then in the lower right-hand corner, you're actually going to see the milliamp hours that were put into it, and please note that this is not the battery capacity. This is just simply how many milliamp hours you put in it for that given charge cycle. So if we cycle over to C2, uh, this is still charging. It's going to show you that we put in 10 milliamp hours since I've been talking. Now we can auto detect most batteries, but not all. So for example, here's a nickel metal hydride. And you can see right here, that it has automatically selected the nickel metal hydride. It shows its current voltage, and then it will begin to charge automatically. In the left-hand corner, it shows you the capacity. And one thing to note that with nickel metal hydride, that it'll probably show about 70% for a fully uh, charged battery that has been in resting voltage, because there's a, a drop from the maximum voltage to the resting voltage. So don't be alarmed if you fully charge your battery and the next day you put it in and it says 70%. The manufacturer explained this in the product description and I think you should be aware of that. Now here is a lithium iron phosphate size AA batteries. And here is something that you need to understand about lithium batteries. It can accurately detect a lithium ion, but when you put in a lithium iron phosphate battery, it automatically thinks that this is lithium ion. And so you need to watch the display very, very closely, and then you need to select lithium iron phosphate. Okay. So here it shows you lithium ion at 4.2. And if you were to ignore this message and not paying attention to it, you would overcharge this battery for sure because lithium iron phosphate and it has a maximum charge voltage of 3.6. All right, so let's insert this again and I'll show you how to fix this. So we want to press the mode button quickly twice. 
and this now flashes the battery chemistry right here. And then we, okay, we'll do that again. And then you can cycle through whether it's lithium ion 4.35 or the correct chemistry, which is lithium iron phosphate down here. Now you can see the capacity went to 100% because this, I already charged this yesterday and lithium iron phosphate is extremely stable. It's an outstanding chemistry. It just doesn't have as high of energy density as a lithium ion, but really it, it's, it's, an, it's an awesome battery. But you really need to pay very close attention to this uh, for safety reasons because you don't want to overcharge any lithium battery. All right, now let's press and hold the slot button. Now you see C1 and C2 are both flashing at the same time. So what this means is that we can now go and change the current charge current for all of them. So I talked too long, so I'll redo that. And then we'll press and hold the mode button until that's flashing. And let's just take that down to 0.1 and then let it time out. Now if we cycle through C1 and C2, 0.1, C2, 0.1. Now let's say that we wanted to charge this battery a little faster. So when C2 is selected, we'll press and hold the mode button. And then let's do that at 0.3. Let it go. Slot 1, 0.1, slot 2, 0.3, and it's just as simple as that. So you can select them all at the same time or you can do each one individually to your requirement. In order to get this into test mode, you place a single battery in the four slot and then you press and hold the slot in the mode until we have the flashing here. And then you press the mode button until you have these additional symbols that show up, okay? So now the next thing we can do is we can set the charge current. So we press and hold the mode button. Now it's charge current is flashing and then we can cycle through to any charge current that we want. And in this case I'll do 0.9. This is the discharge mode and if you look in the lower left corner you can see the percentage of the battery as it's discharged. The middle one is the time. As the battery is discharged, the amp hours are recorded in the lower right hand corner and you can see that slowly increase over time. Now the flashing ones is cycling back and forth showing you the actual voltage of the battery at any given time. And when it's done, it's going to go down to about 0.9 volts which will be a completely discharged nickel metal hydride battery. Okay, the test is done and it's now recharging and we have 1,048 milliamp hours. And so this battery is approximately half the capacity it was when it was new. Okay, so where do we stand with this charger? Uh, I think that you know, overall, it, it's a very good charger and it's reasonably priced. I paid $27 for this and they also have a bigger one, uh, I think it's an 8 version for about $42. And I chose the 4 slot because just of space and I don't really need 8 batteries. So overall, I think it's very good, but there is one aspect about it that I just do not like. And that's the fact that only this four slot can do an amp hour testing of a battery. I don't understand that. I've done a couple of other videos here in the past couple of weeks and like my old lacrosse could do all four batteries at the same time. And it would just take forever to go through all of your batteries if you have to do them one at a time. So I really don't like that and I really wish they could change that. But uh, outside of that, I think it's a very good charger and it has performed very well. And I'm glad that I can finally charge my, my lithium iron phosphate batteries and lithium ion. So I will put a product link in the description below. And if you would like to support my channel, please buy from my affiliate links. There's no charge to you and it would really help me out a lot. So I hope you found that helpful and I will see you next time.